Good day. I'm Colton Vista Willits, United States Air Force Academy Cyber Competition Team, subject matter expert, and an instructor and commander for the Air Force Academy Cyber 256 Basic Cyberspace Operations course. In this video, I will be covering over the wire one of the requirements to earn the Cadet Basic Cyber Operations badge. This badge requires completion of over the wire up to levels 21 22. Each level will have their own video in this series, but in this introduction, video I will cover how to get started with over the wire for both uh, Windows and Mac. Uh, these same steps apply for Linux as well however for the rest of the series I will only just be using my Mac uh, to complete these challenges. So to start off open up Google Chrome go to overthewire.org um, and then you will be selecting Bandit. So Bandit's the one that uh, needs to be completed, and as you can see, I've done some of them here. Uh, however, we're going to start with level zero. Right, so coming here, um, it gives you uh, essentially the address and which to go to, what port needs to be specified, as well as the actual username and the password. So bandit0 is the username and bandit0 is the password. So if we open up terminal, I'm going to clear this. Um, and we look at terminal here. Um, same goes for Windows. We need to use the SSH command or the secure shell command, SSH. And then our username, which is bandit0 at bandit.labs.overthewire.org tack p to specify port and then 2220 all right so then it's going to ask for the password and that should be bandit zero and then here you can see uh, that we're actually able to uh, log in um, let me just change some of the preferences here. Uh, view, um, we're going to increase the, the font size, um, which is just command plus, um, to, to go over how this works. So um, you'll see it says has over the wire when you, when you connect to it. Um, there's different levels to this on how it works, but essentially um, it's a Linux box that are they that they are hosting. So if we do who am I, it shows that we're the username bandit uh, bandit zero, and then we print our working directory. Uh, we're in the home directory for bandit. All right, so we can list everything in here. Um, and it's going to show readme. So the ls is going to list everything uh, that is in a directory. So now we want to read the directory. Uh, we can either print it or, yes, print it or uh, use a text editor. However, I am going to print it. So cat readme. So with over the wire, when you do uh, each of these levels, it goes up um, and gives you're gonna end up having a different username so for level zero it's gonna be bandit zero level one it's gonna be bandit one um, but the password changes so instead of bandit uh, one being the first password this jumble here is actually going to be our next password so I'm going to actually open up uh, the notes app um, and essentially create a new notes called over the wire passwords and then uh, level one we had bandit zero um, and for this next one we had that as well um, the caveat to this is as you go through these levels for the 256 course um, and you do your submissions, bandit0 is actually going to be your first password, and uh, this will be your second password to access level 2. 
So um, to give an example, uh, for Windows, we're actually now going to access level two on Windows. So if I come here, look at level two, um, same specifications for the ports. Um, and then you're going to be using Bandit 1. So we come over to Windows here. Um, we're going to close out of that. Um, and we're going to come here and we're going to type CMD in the search bar and open up Command Prompt. Some command prompt you can see here is just your basic uh, command prompt. Um, LS doesn't work in command prompt, so it doesn't take uh, Linux commands, it takes Windows commands. So if you do uh, DIR, that actually will list out everything that is in that directory. And then CLS is to clear instead of just typing clear. So there is a difference, but however, SSH is going to be the same. So to just clarify, um, if you look through here, um, SSH is going to be the same um, exact options with the port as well listed here. So we should be able to do SSH bandit1 at bandit.labs.overthewire.org and then we're going to specify that port 222 zero as well um, and then I'm just going to put control hang on we're going to clear that um, control V to paste it again you won't see it um, let's just go back and make sure that we actually copied that uh, copy um, and then just new text document uh, so we have that up with our passwords and whatnot um, so that is the password we had there so now we're going to come here and enter that again um, and click enter and now we have access to uh, bandit one um, so to actually just paste, um, I just, just right clicked it in here, essentially. Um, uh, my bad. Right clicked it into uh, the command prompt. Um, but now we have access to a Linux machine. Um, so you'll see that we have uh, a different level here uh, that we need to complete. So in doing this, uh, to complete this level, uh, essentially this here is, is our directory, right? Um, if you don't know, you can do file and then that thing. However, the issue with this, um, and it goes for any, so if I control, control C again, um, to kind of get back out of that. And then I do CD to this, um, Essentially, th the uh, attack or the hyphen is uh, trying to actually invoke an argument. So, um, same as before, if we just do cat and look at it, um, it it's looking for an argument. Like, I can type um, tech h and press enter again. Um, but it, it essentially wants an argument with that. So, to overcome that, type cat period forward slash and then that hyphen which um, is the name of the directory and that is how you're going to get that second password here so I'm just gonna take that uh, control shift C and then I should be able to come here um, and control V and there is our password to gain access to level 2 So if there are any questions with that, um, please feel free to put it down in the comments. Otherwise, uh, I will um, keep going with these next levels uh, in the upcoming videos. Thank you.